Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, Put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Today I'm going to plumb in one of the hot water cylinders in the basement um, so I can have hot water to the bathrooms I've been working on. Um, that's the only way it will ever become useful really. Um, so one of the first jobs I've got to do is just to um, solder some copper pipe together. A bit nervous about this because the only time I've ever done it before was when I had to repair the radiator that had fallen off the wall upstairs and the pipe had split. Um, so we'll uh, see how it goes. Well, this is a bit of pipe I've cut to length and the fitting that will come out of the top of the hot water cylinder and I need to just join those two together. I've got some flux. Ooh, that just makes the solder go round quicker and everywhere, I think. That's some solder. I've got a blowtorch, yes, that's Claire's cooking blowtorch, but it does the job. I've got that just to clean the pipe before I do it all. And I've got that, which is something to protect the surfaces behind it. Um, although I'm just going to do it outside here on the concrete, so I don't think I actually need to do that. So, uh, yeah, we'll have a go. And hopefully it will work. If not, hmm. Join together. Well, it's not the prettiest of joints. I'm not going to pretend that I'm an expert, being that's a, the second one I've ever done in my life. Um, but it seems to be, I can't blow any air out of it, which is a good start, and hopefully, no water will blow out of it. Um, and it seems quite firmly fixed on the bit of pipe there. So I'll take it downstairs and uh, show you what else I need to do. All right, so I'm down in the cellar, um, which is where the two hot tanks of water were going to go. Well, they're here. Just need to connect them in. Um, in fact, I'm only going to connect one of them at the moment because I'm a way off needing to connect up the hot water to the other side of the house um, so I'm just going to get this one connected so this bit of pipe here that I've just made is going to go up on the top something like that onto which I'm going to fit a thermostatic valve so that will have a maximum heat limited to 50 degrees centigrade 
for safety reasons. It is a thermostatic shower that we put in there, but um, the it will just mean that everything is protected and nobody will get scalded. So it seems quite sensible. All a bit complicated working out which connectors to use, where to locate this. Um, I can put that at any point around. Got the water coming in there, water coming in there, so in there and down there. Just trying to work out which which bits, which elbows, which bits of pipe, um, what size. I've connected up the cold water feed to the cylinder and to the thermostatic valve. So now I've just got to get the hot water pipes all connected to this and that is the cylinder water connections done. Well that noise you can hear, hopefully you can hear, is the sound of the hot tank filling up. There's noise upstairs. Sounds like it's coming from the shower. I'm going to go and see what it is. Okay, so had a bit of a dribble coming from where that wall fixing is in. So um, I'm going to make sure the water's turned off again and uh, take a shower off the wall and see what I can find. I just um, added a, an extra washer to the fitting there made sure it was tight. I've been downstairs and turned the water all back on and uh, doesn't appear to be leaking. When we moved in last year, um, in the kitchen in particular, for some reason, we were absolutely plagued with flies. Um, now we've got loads of fly things ready for this year, but I'm making something very effective that's against flies. And I've even got the laminator on ready. Because look, look at that one just there. Yeah, you can go. Or this one. Uh, leave my kitchen, be gone. A simple and effective two minute job. Done. Hear me now got home quite late from work last night and I finally kind of like pulled myself around and it's about five past twelve now so I've kind of decided to get my arse into gear and get on with things now today so I'm starting to think about how I'm going to dress this room and I've pulled a couple of bits out of storage these bits belong to my good friend Tim hi if you're watching um he Passed these things along to me that were his parents for kind of safekeeping a few years back and they've been transported to France. And some of them will work incredibly well 
in that house next door. It's going to look brilliant. A couple of these things are a bit hold and they do need some TLC. Um, I've checked whether he's happy for me to do this and he is. So the first thing is this picture. Um, I'm not sure how old it is. Um, I think it's been in our loft in England for quite a few years as well. But it's made up of loads and loads of tiny, tiny little glass beads. And it's really lovely. And I think it will go in that room really well. Um, the only thing wrong with it is the frame. The frame's been scuffed quite badly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, go around... So I've cleaned it and this bit's still coming up quite dirty. So I'm going to just go around it with some uh, gold leaf paint. Beautiful day again. So what I'm doing now, I've got the van. Um, Claire and I went and collected a wardrobe and a bed, which are conveniently in the smallest denomination pieces possible. Uh, the wardrobe we noticed has signs of woodworm so before we put that into storage I'm going to give it a, a spray with xylophene and make sure it doesn't deteriorate any further or damage anything else that we have in storage. Um, I think the bed's okay but I'll just give that a quick check over. There's not any anything I noticed when we were loading it up but uh, certainly yeah the wardrobe is just worth doing. Wardrobe unloaded and xylophene sprayed and put away into storage uh, so I'm confident that it won't damage itself any further or any, any other furniture that we've got in the storage barn. Um, Hello little one, are you lost? Did you fall out your nest? I found the bedding that's going to go in this room and I've managed to wash it all and get it out on the line this morning. Uh, today's our last full day of being able to get this room ready together. Um, I'm at work tomorrow, um, so yeah, today's the last full day. Um, it's going to be a hot one, you can feel it. So we'll see how things go. Um, yesterday I went out and I've been trying to find um, bedside tables for this room. I can't find what I would like, which is, I'd like two identical marble topped um, bedside tables, but finding them in a rush, it's just not gonna happen. So I've bought some temporary um, bedside tables. They're little metal garden tables, and they were quite a hideous color. So I've sprayed them green. There we go. I'm just going to go over them once over the tops once more. It's getting hotter outside and we managed to get this part of the wardrobe into the room. But when you open the door, the wardrobe is pulling forward and it's dangerous. So Nick has now gone to try and get something to fix the wardrobe to the wall. Um, the wardrobe is going there and it's going at a diagonal because once 
Nick's parents have left, we will have to take this room apart again because all of the plaster behind this wardrobe has blown, hasn't it? It has. Yes. So we will need to take the furniture out of the room to replaster this whole section of wall here, which is a major pain in the backside, isn't it? Had we sufficient time, we might have done all of that before and then decorated all the room properly, but we're in a bit of a rush. And it's hot, isn't it? It is hot. There's some things that you have to compromise on because you're going to run out of time. And there's a couple of things that I've had to compromise on and I am really gutted. So the first one I've compromised on is I've bit the bullet and I'm not going to A, have time to make the curtains in time for them getting here. And I've just bought some 10 euro curtains just to cover the windows. Um, I've actually bought the fabric for the future curtains in here, but when I bought it, they also only had eight meters, which only would have done one set of curtains. Uh, the second lot of eight meters arrives the day after Nick's parents get here. So they would have only have had one set of curtains. Um, I'm not, I'm not Wonder Woman. I can't do everything. I try. <laughs> so I bought a set of curtains. Meanwhile, in the ensuite with the washstand that's black, originally I had a mirror that I painted black to go with it. Uh, unfortunately, when we put this up, we realised that there was a big bow in the middle of the mirror. And I've swapped it <coughs> for this one that Mother Dearest chose. And I've got to say, well done, Mother. Shout out there. Good taste. On one of my many shopping trips this week, I went out and I got a tiny little table and chair set for your mum and dad so that they could have their own little drinks area just outside these doors. You don't like, sound like alcoholics. Well, they're not alcoholics. Neither are we, thank you. I didn't say we were. You're making them a drinks table area. I know, but then they've got somewhere where they can go if they want to and have their own time. Anyway, what were you going to say? Um... That we've never opened we've this never door. Opened this door, and I don't know I'm the bad <laughs> <laughs> So we don't know the last time when this door was open. We just mopped round it. Ooh. Ta da! The front steps. <laughs> And just about to have a clean and a sweep and a mop and bring the furniture through for a Perro Terrace <laughs> or Coffee Terrace or whatever you want to call it, Raging Alcoholic Terrace. <laughs> I don't really know whether you could rage in that area, but... <laughs> lots, and lots of raging to be done here. <laughs> no. <laughs> touch on the end. <laughs> I, I think that the heat really isn't helping today is it? No. <laughs> so I had to compromise on the light for now. Um, I have bought a couple of things that are cheap and cheerful just to kind of tide us over because I don't really want to compromise and buy something that's really expensive that I don't really want to put in this room. Oh cold blimey and as I say I'm now in some kind of like assembly hell. Um, I'm going to start with the light and then I'm going, going to go on to the chairs that I bought. Um, I'm just kind of having one of those days where I'm doing a little bit of everything. I'm quite proud I'm building flat pack furniture or putting legs on chairs. I don't know whether it's flat pack furniture. So I've now done two chairs and it was really good wasn't it because I only had to Turn the legs round on one set. A bit like that first time. Yeah, and I'm now building an ottoman, and you are putting up the picture on the wall, aren't you? I've got the little uh, perro table out, but I am going to draw some white safety lines 
on the step so nobody has too many perros and falls off. I don't think we've really shown like a lot of this side of the house at all, but obviously there's the, the corridor through to the other side of the house. Um, while I'm just doing this area, I'm also noticing that there's loads and loads of wild orchids out here. Like there's just patches of twos and threes. Um, beds going in. Yeah. Going in together. Need to find the rest of it, but uh, yeah. Finials. After all of the washing and laundry, I have one set of net curtains back up on the ensuite windows. <laughs> whoop whoop. Tell me, my darling, where have you been all of this time? I've just been on a little 20 minute drive there and a 20 minute drive back to where we purchased the bed from uh, to get that and that bit of wood, um, which are kind of important for supporting the mattress. Um, and he forgot to give us them the other day. Anyway, we have them now. 20 minute break, 20 minute, 40 minute round trip, and you got them. <laughs> <laughs> you sat in an air-conditioned car. It was nice. It's 31 degrees outside. Yes, 31 degrees. Just been hoovering round the fire and I found something. Hoovering, hoovering round the floor, hoovering round the floor. But oh, there's a coin, but I can't get to it with my finger. So I'm going to try and fish it out. Come on, Henri, move. Ew, it's got something dead on it. A Frank from I guess it's nineteen forty one. It does. I will take a close up picture of that, but yeah, just pushed under the fire. It's being inspected now. Definitely said 1941. It's 30 odd degrees outside and we've been working hard all day. Apart from a little interlude where I had the pleasure of sitting in an air-conditioned car. Um, anyway, whilst the sun's still out, we're going to go and have a quick half an hour in the pool and then get back on with it. Yeah, cool down. Okay, so this morning I'm doing a, just a quick job, um, which is to sand the floor in the cloakroom. Um, I'm taking every precaution necessary to stop dust going everywhere, shutting all the doors to other rooms and to the bedroom that we just decorated. I'm putting, I've put some, well, shut the doors and put some dust sheets underneath. I'm going to go into this room now and lock myself in. Uh, I've put dust sheets around. I'm gonna, it won't take me that long because it's not a very big area. Um, but if I do that now, then I can work on the room um, whilst we have our visitors here. So um, I'll do that and then I'll clean whatever dust has gone throughout into this corridor. But I don't think that there's going to be very much coming through at all. <laughs> finished in there. Um, I've just nipped out, shut the door behind me and I think my uh, efforts to keep the dust in there have worked. It's very dusty inside. I'm just going to leave it five minutes and then go in firstly with a hoover and then with a mop, get rid of all of that and then I'll just see where I am. I think I've done everything uh, to a good standard. Um, so. <coughs> and I was wearing my dust mask. Well, I've now hoovered thoroughly, dusted down and mopped the floor in the cloakroom. Um, so once that wood dries off, 
Um, I've decided what I'm going to do is give it a quick spray of xylophene. I have not seen any woodworm in this particular area, but given it was all part of the same room uh, in the bathroom where there was some woodworm, um, it would make sense just to treat it. I have, as elsewhere, done it from underneath already, but it would make sense to do it before we finish the floor off. Um, I'm quite glad I haven't put dust everywhere in the house and sanding the floor. Um, not just me who's going to be happy about that, Claire as well. But I've decided what I'm going to do, once it's finished, I'm going to put everything back in there and just shut the door and see if she notices. Because I don't think she will. I don't think she's going to walk in and go, you've been sanding. Well, I've cleaned the ground floor of the Maison de Maitre extensively this afternoon and the final job before we just get the bedroom finished off is to uh, replace or relay the carpet that we had uh, in this hallway when we moved in. We took it up um, to get so we could get on with the building work but um, we're going to lay it down it's predominantly red they're VIP so why not roll out the red carpet for them so I've got Sunday evening, I've got home from work, did have a quick dip in the pool because it's been really, really hot. And we're now finishing off this room. Nick's just stopped to go and do the premiere on YouTube to talk to everyone. And I'm doing a couple of final touches in this room. We're not going to show you any more until we've finished. And then I'll give you a tour when we're ready. Flora, Merlo, we need to just have a quick... Just a quick chat. Nanny and Grandpa Butcher are coming. And you need to be on. <coughs> yep. <coughs> Best behaviour. <coughs> Don't back chat, Merlo. No back chatting. Flora. Best <coughs> behaviour. No eating Nanny's pants. Well, they'll be through the doors any minute now. I hope the door keeps opening and English voices keep passing by, but as yet, the old people aren't there. No, they're probably being frisked. Well, bang goes my free period of parking. I'm sure if they didn't get on the plane, they would have rung me by now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Wheelchair bound. <laughs> Let me heal you. You, you can walk now. <laughs> Nick's on his way back from the airport with his parents. And I think there's about 15 minutes until they get here. House is clean, room's ready, I'm clean, the dogs I've had a talking to and I thought I'll just come and have a five minute sit down outside. Crafty, <clears throat> crafty vodka and lemonade and it's just started raining or more spitting I'd say but cheers, Dutch courage. So you've just got back from the airport. Just arrived back here with mum and dad um, before we let them ruin the room. Ruin? <laughs> Fill it with luggage and yeah, there's a fair amount of luggage. <laughs> they don't travel light. Uh, we thought we thought we'd show you the room. Yeah. Welcome to the room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. We eventually got all of the furniture in, didn't we? We did. Um, 
we had fun dragging this wardrobe in. <laughs> Very heavy. Um, but it does look lovely. And if you'd like to open it, you can see. Having, having a nice full length mirror is helpful as well. Um, hangers, and there is a drawer at the bottom. Now, originally, I had bought fabric to make curtains with, but as I told you, I unfortunately ran out of time. So I bought these emergency curtains. Uh, they don't even have tie backs, do they? No. But something is better than nothing. Uh, we have the table, the pub table, that I re-sprayed and redid the top of. We've got some new chairs and new cushions. With the legs all going in the right direction. Yeah, well, nothing's perfect the first time, is it? <laughs> and then we have the lovely bed, which took a couple of round trips. <laughs> it did. And yeah, um, it does look good though, doesn't it? It does look lovely. All new bedding on there. All new bedding. Temporary bedside tables. Temporary. And then up here we've got the picture from my friend Tim that I repainted. And this is one of my favourite cow pictures from a place called the Fellisham Arms, which is up north in England. Over here, we've got a table, a bistro table, that I think we got from Troc. We did, a very heavy marble table. How much was it? Uh, 49 euros, I think we paid for that. I think it goes in quite well. Mm. Then we've got the fireplace, the original fireplace. And we have a lovely mirror from Maisons de Monde. And a clock that I brought over from England that used to be in the pub that I had for a while and it does go quite yeah, well. <laughs> the marble matches in nicely, doesn't it? Yeah. And over here is the set of drawers that we pinched out of my dressing room. Originally it was my grandparents. And then up here we've got a Picasso picture of a dachshund or a print of a Picasso of a dachshund, if only it was real. <laughs> uh, this is one that we got in Spain, and there is actually a book all about this called Lump, the dog who ate a Picasso. So yeah. And the rug on the floor. The rug, that came from your parents, didn't it? Originally my parents, um, and they downsized and couldn't fit it into their room, so... Uh... Yeah. And I must say, even though I'm partially colour blind, I think all the colours work very well together, darling. So well done to you for that. Thank you, dear. Anyway, it's on to your room now. Yes. Come on, then. <laughs> so here we have the ensuite shower room. You finally got the, the basin and the waste all sorted. Yeah, and we have hot and cold running water. Oh, oh now it's hot. Yay. Yay! And no leaps. Yay! <laughs> um, a very tall mirror which leads the eye up towards the chandelier, which we have actually got lots of gems to go on there, but uh, we haven't put them on yet. Um, and then the shower in the corner, and the radiator. Now, admittedly, we haven't yet plumbed in the radiator, but it's a useful towel rack for now. And what I like is we can Sit on the loo with the window open and have a lovely view of the garden and the fields beyond. Yay! Oh, 
pictures out there. <laughs> so, so I thought the room was going to be the one you stepped straight from your kitchen into. No. <laughs> it was lovely. Not newly made. Not made by me. I ran out of time, right. and they didn't have enough fabric. The rest of the fabric comes into the shop tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you made them, your mother? No. <laughs> they were off the shelf. They were off the shelf. Right. Gosh. They're lovely clothes. Do you have a wardrobe with hangers? Mm. You have a chest of drawers. You may recognise a chest of drawers. Yes, yes, I was just wondering where I'd seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> Over the last 40 lovely. or 50 years. <laughs> oh, this is really lovely. It's, it's very, very nice, very pleasing indeed. Oh, this is fly. And the doggy. <laughs> <laughs> so they're in the room. We're just going to get ready for dinner. And we're, we're just having a quick little celebration that we did it. Yeah, they seem to like the room. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And they should do, because it's a nice room. Yeah. I hope you agree. Yeah, we hope you agree. I think we we were a little bit jealous that we, we couldn't spend a night in the house. <laughs> but I'm sure we will at some point in the future, won't we? We will. We will. Yeah. Hi. Hello, and welcome to Wine, Wine of, of the, the Week. week. <clears throat> <laughs> Today we've got a special red wine. <laughs> it's a Merlot. But it's uh, a Baron Philippe de Rothschild, 2020. Actually, quite an affordable wine, priced at around nine euros that you can get anywhere. So it's uh, it's quite common. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's nothing really like ooh, special. But you are kind of guaranteed a certain quality level with this, aren't you? Yeah. So uh, if you can do your bit there, dear, that'd be lovely. Fantastic. So, uh, we well, you saw we had an incredible week. Uh, wow, yes. <laughs> um, you you did your plumbing and you got the hot water tank working so your mum and dad could have hot water. Um, we are thoughtful. We are, aren't we? Yeah. Um, everything's been okay with the room and um, we've been... I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> if we're really lucky, you might come and stay one day. <laughs> So we're, we're one room down, but we have to go back and do some minor adjustments, as we've said. <clears throat> yes. But, uh, yeah, we're, I think we're quite pleased with what we've got. And, yeah, we're still looking at bits of furniture and all different things like that. Um, it involves shopping, so it's not really a chore, is it? <laughs> anyway, if you've enjoyed Ooh. this episode and you haven't yet clicked the like button, please click like. It's become apparent that some people don't know that they need to do it every time they like a particular episode, not just once for the ever, every episode. Do you know what? I may actually need help with this. This could be a first. The other thing you can do, if you want to know when <laughs> other things, other videos are arriving, click subscribe. That helps with algorithms and things and... and Sometimes then YouTube shows our channel to other people that may like it. You can also tell them about it if you like. Or you can visit us as well on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Or our website. Oh. Our website, which is www.expatbutchers.com. No, yep. <laughs> So, really, really, we, we could have opened this and have left it to breathe, but we didn't. We're well, it's breathing now. That's long enough. Yep. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Especially as I probably shout the word Merlot. 30, 40 times a day to call the dog. It's quite nice having a Merlot, isn't it? <laughs> this Merlot's nice. The other one. <laughs> anyway, hope to see you next week. Cheers. Bye bye.